Hi, I'm Mrs McTaggart. In this video, we are looking at the National 5 Applications of Maths topic of income tax. So before I start, it's worth mentioning what tax actually is. Everybody who earns over a certain amount of money has to pay tax by law. Um, and it's usually calculated by your employers. If you're self-employed, you're obliged to have some form of accountant that will work out your tax for you. Um, and you can get into trouble if you don't pay your tax, basically. But um, everyone has to pay it. So let's take a look at um, what the Scottish Government says about paying tax. This is a nightmare to calculate, so it's really lucky if you've got an accountant or your employer to do it for you. And um, basically, so a couple of things to draw your attention to. This scenario here, this is the one if you earn under £12,570, you pay no tax at all. That's because you have a thing called a personal allowance. So when you turn 16 and stuff or get your first job, you'll get a letter through from Inland Revenue telling you what your personal allowance is. Now, based on people's circumstances, that fluctuates a little bit. But um, yeah, personal allowance is £12,570. That cannot be touched. So part-time earners that maybe only have a 12-hour contract are very unlikely to pay tax um, because they will not be earning over £12,000 in the full year. Um, there are other rates here that anything oh, between your 12000 and 14000 you'll pay 19% on. Anything above that, you'll pay 20% on and so on. What I want to draw your attention to is this one here. When you start to earn over £43,000 a year, you then fall into this higher tax bracket. Um, and there'll be a lot of really well-paid jobs where it is that. Anything over your £43,000 um, wage, 42% of that goes to the tax man. And then if you have a look at these people, the top earners, the people who earn over 125000 they pay 47% of their whole money to the tax man. They don't get a personal allowance at all. It says that up here. You do not get a personal allowance if you're that big an earner. 47% of your salary goes to the tax man. So can you understand why if these people are so, um, so well off and got these really high paid jobs, half of the money almost goes straight to the tax man. So it might sound a wee bit crazy, but that's how it works. And it is difficult to work out. We kind of slim this table down a little bit um, in the National 5 Applications course to make it a bit more manageable. So where does your tax go? It's worth mentioning that. Your tax goes to the government and it pays for all the things like um, the public sector workers, your teachers, doctors, nurses, etc. That's where your tax will go. Okay. So we're going to go straight in and look at some examples. Okay, so we're going to dive straight in. I'm going to stagger my questions that get a wee bit more difficult as we go on. This one is just playing around with working out your tax. So someone, a teacher earns 41,400 a year and they have a tax allowance of 12,500 pounds. Now that obviously doesn't match the tax allowance I used in the previous slide. Um, this is a wee bit out of date and I just thought it was easier numbers to work with just now. Um, we have to calculate how much tax he pays. So the first thing you have to do is work out, well, what is the teacher's taxable income? How much of their wage are they going to pay tax on? So you do that by, first of all, just thinking, right, let's take off that tax allowance. So take off the money that cannot be touched at all. So 41,400, take with 12,500, leave some of the taxable income of 28,900 pounds. So they are only paying tax on that amount of their wage. Now the tax for them at that point is 20%. Remember the quick way of finding 20% is to write it as a decimal, 0.2. And we're going to do 0 0.2 times 28,900. And that means our tax will be £5,780. So £5,780 of their wage goes to the tax man. Okay, let's do another. Okay, so number two, very similar example to the one before. This time we've got a nurse. The nurse earns 31000 a year and they have an allowance of £9,850. So their taxable income will be their wage take away their um, allowance, which gives them a taxable income of £21,150. Remember, calculators are being used for all of these. And then that means that's what they're going to pay tax on. So the tax will be 0 0.2 times their um, taxable income. And that works out to be, I've already worked it out, is this 4000 £230. So the nurse will lose £4,230 towards tax. Okay, I'm going to do one more just to prove it's not always um, on the annual salary. This time we've got a welder who earns £400 a week. Their tax allowance is £205. 
So we're going to do, first of all, 400 take away 205, which is 195. So they're going to pay 20% of that value. So 0 0.2 times 195 gives us 39 pounds. Okay, now there was an extra bit to this question. It actually asked for their net pay. Their net pay is what actually gets into their account after tax. So after all the deductions have come off. So their net pay will be um, their original pay of 400 less the tax. So take away 39. So their net pay will be £361 the week. Now, actually, there will be other things like national insurance, maybe pension coming off there as well. But we'll save that for another video. Okay, so this is us now into the more kind of National 5 past paper styles. We're looking at bigger earners. So we're going to look at a doctor who earns £80,000 and has a tax allowance of £12,500. So the first thing to always do is work out their taxable pay. So the taxable pay is their wage, take away their allowance. Oh, those don't look much like zeros, which gives us £67,500. So this is their taxable pay. Now, this table up here focuses on the what they're paying for each part of the taxable pay. So from zero up to 31785, they will pay 20% tax. From anything from there up to where they finish, because this doctor isn't actually going to go over the 150,000 tax bracket, they're falling somewhere in here. So anything over the 31,785 up to their end wage, they are going to pay 40% for. So we've got two different calculations to do here, okay? Um, so let me just get a wee bit more space. So our first sum is going to be for this bit here. We're going to do 20% of that first jump, 31,000. £785, which gives us £6,351. Okay, for this next bit here, we're going to have to subtract. So we're going to do 67,500 take away 31785, which gives us £35,705. 15, sorry. So on this amount, and if that's, in, that's anything between the 31,000 and 67,000, is roughly the £35,000. They're going to pay 40% on this number. So we're going to do 0 0.4 for 40% times that amount. And that works out to be 14286. So they have two amounts of tax. They've got the small rate of tax at 6351 They've got the higher rate of tax of 14286 so their total tax will be those two numbers added together. So the 6,000 plus the 14,000, which will give them £20,636 of their wage going to tax. So the doctor is losing almost a quarter of their wage there. Can you see that? And these are realistic numbers. So just to make you aware, you think you're earning 80,000. No, you're not. And I've not even taken in all the other things like national insurance and pension and everything in there as well. So let's have a look at another one. Right, this time we're going to look at Serena Williams, right? So just out of a, a little estimate, we're predicting that she earns 8 million a year. So if she earns 8 million, she's fallen straight into this tax bracket here of over £150,000. So she doesn't actually have a tax allowance at all. So she's paying 45% of her full whack of money. So 8 million, remember, is 8 with 6 zeros. So she is paying, wait for it, £3,600,000 in tax. It's not great, is it? So that's me covered the tax. Um, the next thing to come after this is national insurance, which is pretty similar. Um, so I hope this has helped. Thanks for watching.